Hello. Welcome to a uh, quick little overview and flip through of Elden Ring's first strategy guide. It's called The Lands Between Elden Ring. Books of Knowledge, Volume 1. Here's the uh, spine. Very nice. And a back. So, yeah. Stuff. It is $50 USD. But, uh, yeah, it's by Future Press in collaboration with From Software and Bandai Namco. Obviously, the developer and publisher of Elden Ring. Um, this cost, I think, 150 NZ or 145 maybe, around about. Uh, it's 500 and something pages. So, basically, it's the first half of a full strategy guide, essentially. Um, uh, making part two and it should be out well they say it should be out end of January next year so this part one got like this nice gold kind of stuff as a border got a nice picture of Rani the witch is the title When you open it up, you get something awesome. This is a map, fold out map, the lands between. I will show you that now. So here's the map. One side has all the icons and a legend saying what the icons are. And then on the flip side, we have the basic map as it would be if you're an NPC in the game with the map. No icons other than in universe icons like the trees, things like that. And then it also has the underground sections. I will be putting this on my wall, I'm going to frame it. I'll be showing this side, because I think it looks the nicest. But uh, yeah, back to the book. So yeah, let's look into this book. It's a nice basic black end paper. Have an introduction by a team at Future Press. We have the, uh, yeah, for some reason this year I've been really bad with names and remembering them, so... I think that's called like the Sword of Fire and something. I don't know. I forget. Um, weapons will be in Volume 2. So here we have a nice picture of man in that armor. I forget the name of as well. Map legend for all the maps that is in this. And just uh, about the data. So here we have the table of contents and overview of Volume 1. So Volume 1 includes a system guide, learn how to play the game, world guide, how the world works, dungeon guide, all the dungeons that are like legacy dungeons. I don't think uh, there's any like proper dungeons. I don't know if that's saved for the next book or they're just not going to do them. It'll be a lot to do them, so I don't know. Got quest guides and a nice world history. Quite brief, but good enough. So, I'll show a couple sections and uh, talk about the sections, I guess. You know, let's just flip one page and start with the systems guide. So, here we have a nice picture of the uh, Erd tree, that's what it's called, right? From 
the perspective of standing in we in Limgrave? Yes we are. So here we have how to play the game, how the game works, things like that. It's a proper strategy guide, you know. The things you would expect in a strategy guide are in it. We have the different classes. Runes and leveling up, game progression, basic movements. It goes through literally everything in depth, like full on. Quite nice, cool pictures. I mean, I I don't need a strategy guide. I have played through Elden Ring like five times and done it as thoroughly as I possibly could. The only thing I think I didn't end up doing was the rest of Patches' quest, but that's because it had just dropped when I stopped playing Elden Ring. The, uh, the rest of the quest. So you got like different types of attacks based on whatever you're using. All these things. Yes, yeah, so systems is, you know, well, it's got a lot of stuff. Here we got a world guide. So the world guide is maps, essentially. All the areas, you got the mandatory areas here. It's good to know. Obtain any two great runes, and then you can go those three ways. It's a nice little kind of map. Different places. Game progression and ending. It's got how to do the endings, as you see. Elden Lord. A1, A2, A3, A4, Age of Stars, B1 and B2, Lord of the Frenzied Flame, C1, C2, Suppressing the Frenzied Flame. It's a flowchart of the endings. So, um, I've platinumed Elden Ring, so I've done all the endings you really need to do. It's even got build guides. I didn't think it would. I don't realize that. I never really looked properly. Huh. They're probably out of date. But uh, you probably get away with some of these. It's nice. Let's have a look. Okay, we've got blood. Recommended weapons. Where are you? Rivers of blood, there it is. And Nakakiba. Interesting. Yeah. Bloody Slash and all that. These Ike's Decay. So here's map of Limgrave. I'm just going to start taking chunks of pages to flip through. Because I don't want to be here all night. Different areas. Let's, uh, let's skip ahead to characters and stuff, or I guess dungeon guide. Oh, this ain't focused properly. Oh well. Underworld overview. Very nice maps and everything. So you got character guides down here. Um, they do have small segments talking about bosses, but they said that in the next book, they'll talk more in depth about the bosses. So, all the way back here, quest guide. So, quest slash character guide. Basically, you got all your characters, your NPCs, and yeah. Tells you about them all, how to summon them for different fights, places they are located, when they are located, descriptions as you can see, there's Melina, 
which is a very long part, I imagine. There's Bok. Old mate. Old Bok. He's cute. No, I'm not physically cute. White mask. Avada? I forget how to say his name. But yeah, so it is quite up to date because it's got all the patches. So you get this nice gold ribbon bookmark thing. I bookmarked it at patches because I do plan to actually use this guy to go back and finish. So basically, I was really close to finishing it. Essentially, I was right there. Giving Tanith the castanets, but I don't know what to do next. And no one on the internet had figured it out. Because I was doing it about maybe an hour after the patch came out. And then at the back here, we've got world history. So this is basically all the lore you can learn from item descriptions and NPC dialogue. As you can see here. Not very clearly, but... Yeah. Uh, so these are all item descriptions. Got a dialogue over there. Some more dialogue here. Talks about the shattering and all that. And then you've got an index at the back here. And credits and thanks. And then the back of the book. So that is the Elden Ring strategy guide. The Lands Between. Books of Knowledge, Volume 1. Well, it's technically called Elden Ring, The Books of Knowledge, Volume 1. The Lands Between, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so the next guide will cover the things that wasn't in this. Weapons, armor, equipment, bosses, whatever else, I guess dungeons. I'll have to look that up. But uh, that's it. Nice little quick overview. Thank you for watching. I am uh, out. Like and subscribe. Yay.